Welcome back, everyone. Well, you know, it's no secret that Saratoga, probably since the beginning of time, has always been a spiritual center, the spring waters, just everything about Saratoga and the wellness. Um, and believe it or not, some people in our community have decided to open a wellness center in the park called Coesa, named after the spring. Joining me today is Stephanie Ferradino, who's the president of Coesa, and Kim Beekman, who's a wellness instructor. So first, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to have you here. We appreciate uh, you having this is us. A, this is an amazing topic. I do a lot of <laughs> interviews, and this one really hooked me. Um, I tell you what, Steph, why don't I start with you? Give sure. me some sense of the background on this. Why? Why are you doing this? So last summer, a, a friend of mine and I were having a conversation about wanting to do more in our community, something beyond just our regular job. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, she said to me, well, what would you be doing if you weren't a lawyer? And I said, well, I'd open a wellness center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after that, I went, I wonder where that came from. And that was the beginning of COESA. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess since then, and we got a lot to cover here because you offer all kinds of different programs, and uh, you, I mean, you're really on the march with this thing, I'll tell you. Uh, Kim, let me, let me ask you, uh, you're a wellness instructor, mm -hmm. so what does COESA offer someone if they're looking for that? What I found amazing about COESA when I first heard about it is it's a number of business people, mainly business women from the community who have gotten together and believe there should be more accessible wellness mm -hmm. uh, activities and events for our community that don't have a high price point and that are accessible and in the healing park of Saratoga State Park. So when I heard that these people were getting together to bring wellness together with this beautiful park and all of our community practitioners, I thought, wow, why? What? it's win-win-win. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. Well, you know what, you're bringing up an interesting point. Uh, a lot of people understand that Saratoga stands for wellness or whatever. A lot of catchphrases there, a lot of marketers out there that take advantage of it. What I love about what you're doing is that it's so authentic. Yeah. And that, um, and some of the disciplines, uh, again, yoga, Reiki, meditation. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about that, Kim. Well, I think, you know, I consider wellness to be a high return on investment, right? So if you're looking... Sound like a <laughs> Where'd that go from? Well, you know, so <laughs> this is what I value about what these, um, these business people have brought to us, is they yes. recognize that wellness has value and they're working toward getting um, the park to, to be the platform for wellness. Mm -hmm. So yoga, meditation, Reiki, gong labs, Tai Chi, Qigong, they're all the energetic um, forces. They're working with your energy and mm -hmm. healing in the body, in the mind, and in the spirit. It's creating alignment. And so we as a society need a heck of a lot more alignment, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, you know what? If the political <laughs> season is any indication, a lot right. of people need a lot of alignment. Right, right. <laughs> and the park provides grounding for that. It yes, it a does. a beautiful platform for it. Well, you know, again, you're talking about the, just the spiritual nature of Saratoga. You know, you hear it said so often that it's not by accident that all of these springs converged in this wonderful little apex here. So right. you know, there's a lot going on. Um, also, before we went on air, you mentioned nutrition is part of this. Acupuncture is part of this stuff, right? Correct, so yes. Tell we, us a little bit more about how you're choosing these things. We anticipate when we um, are able to find a home in the park and we have the, enough space that we'll have both wellness practitioners as well as retreat programming. Mm -hmm. So the wellness practitioners would be in various disciplines like nutrition, acupuncture, mm -hmm. Reiki, and um, we would have uh, resident practitioners, but also guest practitioners, people who maybe have a special talent but don't necessarily live here that want to be able to treat people here in the natural setting. Uh, you know, nice segue, by the way, <laughs> because they are looking for a home. You're currently looking in the uh, in this state park, right, at Roosevelt Two. Correct. Right. Uh, Roosevelt Two is a building that has been vacant for over 30 years, but it's it's um, was created for healing purposes for the baths right. um, in the 1930s and has been vacant the last 30 years and we are hoping to bring wellness back to that that facility. Yeah, not just the word wellness, but actually the practice of wellness, Absolutely. which is a real designation, <laughs> I think. Um, you know, one thing I, I wanted to mention also before we went on air, we were talking about the practitioners. Some will be visiting or guests 
Correct. Right? And yes. some will be in residence. Right. right. And that also, another thing you mentioned, I really want to uh, mention, uh, talk about, uh, not only just classes, but retreats. Yes. Now so this is a big, this is something, right? Part of the facility would service the community. So we would have people from the community coming to get their services. But another aspect of the facility would be more retreat based. So while members of the community may come for retreat programming, we anticipate having a larger presence of people converging on Saratoga for those uh, classes. Mm -hmm. They would come to Coesa, have their classes, and then be staying in the broader Saratoga Springs community in the hotels and uh, bed and breakfast that we have here, mm -hmm. and then coming to our classes. Wow, it sounds amazing. So uh, the viewer should know that they're already conducting classes, right? Yes, we started in April. April of this year you started. Correct. In April of this year. Yep. And they can contact you through your Facebook? Through the Facebook page, Coesa in the Park. Coesa in the Park. Yes. Oh, and that's where our website is, too. That's a nice ring to it, by the way. <laughs> Coesa in the Park, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I could go to that park any time, any day, for any reason. That really is a beautiful place. Um, and also, they really do need to raise money to try to secure a home. Uh, Roosevelt, too, is the target home. That's now, you're correct. in various locations in the park now, right? So you're we kind of are. moving around. We're renting space within the park depending on the program size, the anticipated class size. We right. rent space inside and outside. We try to hold mm -hmm. as many classes as we can out in nature, mm -hmm. um, which distinguishes us from, um, from many other uh, facilities that don't yes. have that natural setting and that's right. that's something that is very important to us and important to the healing process and so mm -hmm. the not-for-profit when we were trying to find a home thought mm -hmm. that the park was the natural fit here. So. And you can of course uh, help them raise funds you can contribute but also to show you the dedication here the practitioners are donating their time so that when you pay for a class that money is going towards the fund to yes. uh, find your home, which we hope would be Roosevelt too. Boy, we're, what a great location that we're would be. We're so excited and thankful because there are uh, many local practitioners have actually approached us, right. offering their time and talent um, in order to have programs like the Gong Lab that will be held on mm -hmm. August 23rd. Mm -hmm. Um, Nick Pavaldi of Saratoga Body Works has offered his time and it's so great because the different yoga practitioners in our Yoga in the Park series are all from different studios and places within Saratoga oh, wow. but they're combining together to help us build this center. And what we, a sense of community. It's really wonderful. Community you yeah, have it really going. is. Uh, open to men and women by the way. <laughs> I think women are the primary movers like mostly. Uh, in this in this venture, but uh, it's open to men and women. Absolutely, right? all ages, all everybody. All come ages. In, get well. Our first class, I think we had an 11 year old all the way up to a woman in her 80s. Oh, fantastic. So yeah, it was very exciting to see kind of that broad range. And and tonight, I think we've got a three year old participating in the yoga in the park yeah. series. Well, that's <laughs> great. Well, Kim, thank you for coming in. Steph, thank thanks you. for coming in. Thank you. Best of luck, and let us know how we can help you with this. Great. great. Nice to see you. Thank nice you very much. To see this interview. Again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.